three frames before you thought I was. And I'm excited to see that continue as Ling continues his insane losers run into losers finals against Professor MGW. And we are starting on FD. Yeah, a fun and funky fresh mix up for all of us folks here. You're watching along. Um, and again, Saturn. another Saturn to start things off. Greninja, not as useful against Greninja as in most other matchups. Again, this character does not like to shield very much anyways. Link trying to get creative on the juggle with it, though. However, MGW just trying to lock that space down and like, keep you away from it at all costs. A absurd way to start this game on a stage that I think we went to just because of how good it is for both characters. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, FD, a fantastic stage for Greninja, who, you know, relies a lot on these... Uh, descending aerials and also not going to be seeing any platforms messing up confirms for mgw and we're already starting to see that same like patient game plan that we saw against john numbers really looking to react in his uh in his game plan not just react but the extensive pressure right link man willing to just space out the program forcing in, in MGW not to not to control the pace of the game, but to slow down, play at Ling's pace. Something we saw MGW have success with earlier on, right? Against numbers is now what we're seeing Ling do against MGW. Force Greninja to play your game. Slow him down. Don't let him take full advantage of that speed. It, make him play li in a linear fashion that forces him to, to lose that roll habit, that spot dodge habit, and the linear route of play that Greninja has in his neutral. And there's nowhere for the character to go. Absolutely, trying to come down with that back air. Ling catching it with the neutral air, and now MGW having to play from behind. And we're starting to see him scrap a little bit more, throwing out these aerials really close. The point blank Hydro Pump as well. MGW really trying to get tricky with this movement. You know, even not just his normal, like, airspeed that Greninja has, but just trying to use the... Oh my goodness. And the important part to remember, too, is that Hydro... Is that when you're floating, you don't have friction, right? You aren't on the ground. You don't have traction. This is the word I'm looking for. So, when you Hydro Pump to get tricky with it and Peach is floating, you disrupt her float spacing. You make her start to second guess. Hey, is this float spacing safe? Is this float spacing safe? If, can I float here for the future? Her. And if you can, because if you can also get her to start to waste floats or use floats in suboptimal situations moving forward, it's a huge benefit. So I think that's also a level of what we're seeing with these hydro pump exits. Absolutely. I think we're going to be seeing forward throw right there. That is a DI mix up for. Greninja, both forward throw and up throw, very difficult to just react to, but Ling still holding on with his first stock and 68 or 61 percent extra credit. But MGW finally on the board for this game one, and we are already under four minutes on the clock. That being said, I think we are st in a still very, we're not in a situation where we're, we're in danger of going to time yet, right? MGW. Ooh, at 116, if this stock gets lost before, I want to say, the two-minute mark on his end, on honestly, from either of these players, I think it is we would be very hard-pressed to see a timeout just because of the then lead that they have over their opponent. I mean, we're certainly capable of getting there for sure, Force, but Ling with that back air going to bring in MGW to a last stock situation, and with enough of a percent lead, the MGW kind of has to get frisky with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not in danger of a timeout scenario, but this is just so much mental energy. You know, we are in best of five, and we're already starting to get a little bit late into the night. And also, you got to keep in mind, MGW just came out of a an incredibly heartbreaking oh, loss. No. And speaking of she heartbreaking, Link does save him. You were saying, speaking of heartbreaking, that's no, definitely that not what you meant, but it's true. <laughs> You're right. Talk that about heartbreakers. That wasn't heartbreaking. That was the most romantic thing I've ever seen. Ooh, but Ling continuing the pressure on, and the neutral air will be taking it a two stock. The rare save from Ling. Like, I feel like fewer, like, we, we've seen him drop combos today. We've seen him get nervous today. We've seen him panic today. We've seen him save his opponent off a of routine edge guard today. We have seen all of the things today, 
And we've also seen Zero to Deaths, we've seen mm -hmm. Crazy Turnable, we have seen all of the good things that we know Ling for, and we see all of the things that we know Ling for never doing. But we know... People who've been watching Xeno for a long time, watching Smash for a long time, Ling's been around since Brawl, and he has always been that stoic, very calm, very level-headed, very disciplined player who doesn't drop those things, doesn't make those mistakes, doesn't save his opponent, doesn't panic. And yet we've seen all of that today. And it's just, it's so strange. It is. I mean, but even through, even through all of those, Ling is still taking games incredibly oh, handily. Absolutely. He is a man on a mission right now. Lost to a King K rule and said, okay, hold on. I'm about to get flamed enough for this when I go back home in the weekly next week, guys. I gotta I gotta take my paycheck and head home. And, <laughs> and to get your paycheck first, you gotta earn it. And and so he he is trying to not let anything stop him between stand between him and a fate with a a, a faded match with John Numbers. All right, but the weave back there from MGW to uh, catch the Peach Bomber. But MGW has to find his way back into the stage and just finds his way into a forward air instead. It's also fascinating to think about, right, that we, we have went from game one, final destination, right? Both players probably very happy with that. To game two, MGW taking you to about the furthest possible thing yeah. from final destination here on Battlefield. Battlefield. For reasons that, again, those movement mix-ups, you're trying to take away what Link did really well, lane his approach, give yourself more space to cover once if you can get Peach in a juggle situation. But the biggest issue is just that, again, Link's float movement's been so tricky. MGW has, has kind of, you know, has had great movement of his own, but then has to commit to press a button and Link can just keep dancing. Yeah, and I mean, in addition to that, Greninja, you know, while having extremely active hitboxes, just kind of has this weird, like, heat map when it comes to his uh, his juggle game. MGW has to be extremely precise with his juggles, with his up airs, uh, as opposed to having, you know, a character with a, like, a large sweeping up air. All right, but the forward air from center stage still going to be taking uh, Ling's first stock, kind of in a, you know, just looking at the percent, percents and the stocks, kind of in just a similar position as we were in uh, game one, despite the stage counter pick. Uh, for, for sure, and, and I think we're seeing just how much these platforms kind of haven't really come into play. But we haven't seen many players landing on platform, many plat drop mix-ups, many platform mix-ups. It really has still operated very much like Final Destination for the most part. Or, Except for there, Ling landing on the edge of the platform, sliding off, MDW trying to do the same thing, and Ling saying, eh, no, that's my job. <laughs> I've already seen this mix-up. I did it. Yeah, I, I did it five seconds ago. I invented it. Honestly, probably. <laughs> um, but Ling is just really locking down anywhere that MGW wants to land. Like, the second he gets put in the air, he has to use Hydro Pump to find a way back down to the ground, and that's a commitment that you see Ling counting on, right? And saying, okay, every time you want to recover, I'm going to have a whole second to pull a turnip, reset to neutral, perfect my stage positioning, do whatever I want. Otherwise, you just are going to keep getting caught on these platforms of your own design. I'm going to put you in a prison of your own making, and there's nowhere to run because this crown is mine. Zada is online. <laughs> online right now. Uh, MGW really just fighting for his life, but another miss tech means that Ling is going to be taking game two and potent and really just putting MGW on the back foot. And you can see MGW going in the tank right now. Knows, knows deep down he wants this win. He wants that grand finals. He wants to say, hey, Remember me, Juan Numeros? Well, guess what? I'm back to do it again. I'm back to bring you past game five. I'm back to bring you all the way to a second set. But in order to get there, he has to reverse 3-0. The man who has seen it all in the scene. Ling now one game away from Grand Finals. After losing all the way in the... Did he lose in pools? He lost in pools, yes. He lost in pools. Ling has been on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Currently in his sixth. The Let's see. Dark Pit? Uh, the well, MGW oh. Dark Pit. Not 
something I think I've seen before, but definitely a something different than Greninja. And honestly, a character that I think will be able to make more use of the platforms, having extremely active and also just very wide hitboxes. Yeah, no, MGW maybe uh, getting a little Zachary pulled right now <laughs> after after Kagari B. That was regular pit, but dark pit, uh, very similar in a lot of ways. You are don't have as flexible arrows, which actually I think can make a difference in this matchup. Uh, Peach having a very linear recovery that can struggle when caught off guard, so the flexibility those arrows can provide to just continue to punish you, let off you out of options. Where do you go? All right, using that forward air to fight it, to make some space for himself for the recovery, but Ling firing back with a forward air of his own. All right, and I mean, this is an entirely new character that Ling has to learn for potentially three more games if MGW is able to bring things back into his favor, well, looking for an arrow. Potentially, you say, but that's only learning the player, not the matchup, because Connecticut has our very own pit and dark put player named Skink, who is very talented and one of the PR gatekeepers in the state for sure. And so Ling has the experience. Ling knows what to look for as well as, again, he's been playing this game competitively since the Brawl days. There is nowhere left for, there are no tricks you can pull in terms of characters that he hasn't seen. And we're seeing it early on, right? There's no misty eyes here. There's no, okay, true on one DI, but not on the other combos that Ling is getting caught by eventually the arrow is going to put you in a frame trap with back air, but that's okay. You got 72% of extra credit. Yeah, and I mean, that's just getting Ling that much closer to the grand final spot. All right, MGW looking for a reset there on the platform. Unfortunately, not finding it, and instead getting put back off stage, using a lot of jumps, a lot of resources to make it back. And I... I think we're really starting to see kind of the tank uh, run dry for MGW. We're seeing, you know, things like F smashes in neutral in center stage. And there's just like we're starting to see like that full desperation come out out because where do you like he just wants to make it work so bad and you can see it. It's not that his dark pit's playing terribly, it's just that what mix-ups does he have? What sauce? Like, this is a matchup that Ling doesn't get to play very often, but does know. And you can start to see, right, the very basic game plan that MDW doesn't play this character as much. Uh, he's just starting to push these F-tilts, the back airs. He's just trying to find the active hitboxes because he doesn't have the full strings on lock. Mm -hmm. And the neutral air putting MDW in the corner once again. Peach Bomber beating out the neutral air. Turn it not doing it quite yet, but that back air absolutely I'm going to say, great run to MGW. Oh, absolutely. Congratulations to Ling. Great run to MGW. The only mistake MGW made was trying to outfundies Ling with Dark Pit as when Ling is one of the best fundies players to ever play the game in terms of just pure fundies. Like, he has been outfundiesing people for 15 years. Like, you, you don't outfundies him. You can outplay him, but you don't outfund use him. And it's just, you know, I think that's a six set losers run. Yeah. Which will be, if Ling wins this tournament, eight sets in losers is what it will take to get there. 